I hope everyone's had a wonderful day so far. Mine's been a pretty good one. I've trained a few beautiful clients. I've had a really good session at the gym. Um, and yeah, I've had like a, all in all a really good day. Um, and I just thought I would just chat to you all about your breakfast and what you're having for breakfast and how your breakfast could actually be setting you up for failure um, when it comes to your weight loss journey or building muscle. So I have actually been, I've actually been doing a little bit of research into this for quite some time now about glucose spiking um, and basically how your glucose spikes when we eat certain foods and also a lot of people the thing is we quite often um, start our day maybe with like a, a porridge with something sweet and this actually sets us up for a disaster so um, I've been reading um, this new book called glucose um, revolution um, I can't think of actually the author's name off the top of my head hey Tony but she um, is she's a biochemist um, so she's a scientist and she's done some really cool research and she explains it really well um, and she's all about like how spiking our glucose levels and insulin levels can really affect our mood can make us cause us to put on weight um, lowers our energy levels, um, can give us acne, can, if you're perimenopausal or menopausal, it can make those effects much worse. Um, and basically, she talks about, and your, when I talk about breakfast, um, she talks about how setting yourself up for the day, like is with your breakfast by actually having a savory meal instead of a sweet meal can actually help you, your sugar cravings um, subside for the whole day so she highly recommends um, so she actually recommends eating your food in a certain order so actually having your vegetables first followed by your proteins and fats and then followed by your carbs now that might might some of you might be like oh god that just sounds like too much hard work now it's not like you have to sit and have like three different meals there it's just that you eat your food in a certain order and it's this by eating your food in this way it's actually going to stop the glucose from spiking okay so if you're like oh i really love to have cereal um cereal is like one of the worst things that you can eat um i think a lot of us already know that there's a huge amount of sugar in cereal hey linda um, there's a huge amount of sugar in cereal um, but porridge on the other hand isn't so bad but it still does actually um, spike your glucose so the way to um, help you with because a lot of people don't want to have a savory breakfast is to have porridge but to add some protein so you can either have like some protein powder or some yogurt with it and also add some nuts so you want to add some fats or like flaxseed or sunflower seeds or what have you and this will help you with your glucose spiking so even if you're not looking to lose weight um, the way of eating this way of eating is really meant to help you with your energy levels and it's a lot of people you know will want to be when they're feeling tired they're gonna like want to grab the chocolate bars and what have you um, and this is, you know, setting you up for like a huge disaster. Um, she obviously recommends like eating like vegetables, but with some sort of like fats as well. So it might be like, you know, some vegetable sticks and hummus, or you could have um, some apple and peanut butter. Yes, that's a fruit. Um, and also she, re and she, the great thing is, is she doesn't recommend, like she doesn't tell you to stop eating certain foods either. She just talks about, um, eating in a certain order so and by setting yourself up by having that good breakfast in the morning um, and staying away from the sugar is what's going to be really beneficial for the rest of your day it's meant to curb those cravings so i um, am just trying to i'm playing around with it a bit myself at the moment i've also got some of my clients um, doing it as well um, at the moment, it's all new, but I figure like that there's nothing to lose, uh, everything to gain. Um, it also is meant to help you like with insomnia as well, um, but it all makes a lot of sense and she does explain it in layman's terms. So 
you will understand it. So you can either head over and look at her page, which is um, on Facebook or on Instagram. And she, yeah, she basically uh, helps explain it um, for people like us to understand. Um, but you know, there has been quite a lot of research for many years now, but I think that she's really nailed it in the way of explaining it. So just by changing your order um, and making sure that you don't have sugar at the start of the day can set you up for a much better day. All right, guys, hope you're having a wonderful day and I will chat to you soon. Bye.